get a £5 free bet every week with Offer Club from William Hill. Simply stake a total of £20 or more across the week on pre-match football accumulators with four or more selections and you'll get a £5 free bet on the Friday. Join William Hill Offer Club on mobile or online now. Cooking Cassius Rifle TV in association with Mackens in Marbella. We're at the Peacock Gym here in Cannon Town with me. My old mate. <laughs> I called I call Stephen Timbers out as my old mate, so. We are old mates, aren't we? Yep. David Brophy. How are you? Good to meet you. Yeah, all good. Um, come down here to get sparring with uh, yep. Simmons. How's no, it been going? It was Alan Higgins, I was fun. Yeah, I know, but you came down here with no, Simmons. Um, Simmons and Nelson. It's been good. I um, I kind of thank the Peacock and off for that. Plus, we're tired and made feel really welcome and um, well looked after. But it's been great coming to a famous gym like this. You know what I mean? I've been here before and I trained. Um, it's just good to get out and change the scenery and get in with different fighters. They say they've been made us feel really welcome, so it's been really good. Stephen was just telling me about the four and a half hour train journey, yeah. yeah. Sounds horrendous. Why don't you just fly? It was more it was worse next to him, he's thinking. <laughs> Absolutely farting all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you're done here now. Uh, you're gonna head back to uh, yep. Scotland today. Back, back up, get his five o'clock train so I'll arrive back there later on tonight. So you're out, same show as uh, Stephen on the first of October, the Bella Houston. Yep. Sounds very tropical, yeah, doesn't it? It's definitely not. <laughs> it's never north. been there, never yeah, been there. So. Um, but this will be your first fight back since your, your first yep. defeat of your uh, yep. professional career. Um, uh, how long did it take to sink in? It sunk in straight away. You know, the Wizzy Mayor aimed to be more disappointed than me in that night, you know what I mean? It's, it's a hard pot to swallow, as I say, but um, it's in, it, is, it is what it is, you know what I mean? He's a good fighter. Maybe you could do it a hundred times more and change things, you know what I mean? And maybe our tactics are wrong, maybe it was my tactics, it was wrong personally, you know what I mean? I mean, but at the end of the day, this is, this is a fight game. If, if I got offered a fight next week again for no money, I would do it. I mean, people people judge me straight away if I take the fight. People still judge me if I take the fight. It's, it's a fighting game. I mean, if you don't want it again, they're the best. Then what's the point in doing it? Hundred um, percent. A lot of people were saying it was a, a step up in the opponents that you've had Massive step up. So, so far in your career. But um, you know, why are you going to take a fight like that on a huge field like that uh, on the undercard of a? a yeah. A well titled fight for Joshua and Martin, why wouldn't you take a fight like that? Well, I mean, as I say, I mean, we had a good discussion with management and that, and I mean, as I said, I mean, people are, even people post me that, the worst critics, you know what I mean, they were, they you shouldn't have taken that, and I was like, why? I mean, this is, this is why you get into boxing to fight in arenas like Road 2. Fair enough, it didn't go our way, it could have been a lot better, but you should thrive in opportunities like that. And I say, I'll never shy away from any, any opposition. It's, maybe on paper better than me, I'll never ever shy away because this is a uh, fight game, as I say before. Is it safe to say you probably learnt more in that defeat to George Groves than you did in all your wins? Well, the biggest thing I've learnt is not to feel like that again, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's, it's very hard to take, especially for me, you know what I mean? I don't like to be in as, a, as most boxers will be, but it's, it's a lonely dressing room, it's a lonely shower, it's the worst shower I've ever had in my life. You know what I mean? Giving that shower yourself, if you feel that size. I mean, nothing, nobody could say to you or they could make it any better, but as I say, it's learning. I'm a big lad, you just need to pick yourself up on it. Um, opponent wise, for the 1st of October, what's been discussed so far? Anything? Well, I spoke to um, Sam, as the management of Scotland, I asked for somebody um, half, half decent anyway, so they're looking at it. I've still not had any word yet. I think they've tried a few people, but um, no luck as yet. So I want to try and keep my keep them well, momentum, but get the momentum back going again. Um, hopefully we can chat them in the doors with certain titles. Um, just keep my head down, keep working. So, but I trust my manager, I trust MGM, I trust the boys in my bear, I trust the boys in MGM Scotland to do the best for me. So, um, I'll leave it up to them. Scottish boxing is thriving uh, at the moment again. Uh, MGM Scotland is thriving at the moment again. So, uh, it's a good time to be involved. Yep. Yeah, well, we, were, we were there for kind of the start and I think Sam's in a a good job up in Scotland and obviously the boys in Arbea have got a lot of trust in them which is, um, which is good in our part because we need a, a certain thing in Scotland to take charge, you know what I mean, of all of us, it's somebody to depend upon um, for, for fights and shows because it can be a lonely place Scotland sometimes in the boxing world so it's starting to pick, its, pick itself up and get regular shows and regular appearances and so it kind of 
kind of end the Christmas. Because there was a point where uh, fighters like yourself and, and Stephen and a, a lot of the other boxers in, in Scotland were kind of waiting for Ricky Burns to fight before getting on, you know, big shows on the TV. But when you're fighting the first, it's been televised yeah. by Box Nation. Yeah. Um, so, like I said, it's great what Ricky's done and what he's doing at the moment. But uh, for your own careers, yeah. you kind of need to focus on yourselves. Well, of course you do. It's, it's a selfish game. Um, and it was exactly as you said there. We were, we were relying and depending on big shows up here. And obviously they stopped for a while. So we were kind of shit ourselves. Because, I mean, the small shows will always happen. But the small shows are small shows. You need you need to be exposed. You need to be seen um, to get the chances for these things. So it's eventually happening. So I couldn't be very happy about that. And Box Nation's a great platform. I mean, it, it's been around for a few years now. And they cover a lot of the, the big fights abroad and yeah. they've shown a lot of the big fights in the UK as well. So uh, platform wise, um, you know, you can't grumble with it. And of course, we, we need as many channels and directions to go to as we can in boxing. So it opens up new doors for us. So it's, it's, it's good. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the future. How, how many times do you anticipate fighting sort of towards the back end of 2016 now? Just whenever they tell me to be. Yeah. <laughs> I'm always in the gym, you know I mean? I always keep it fat. I'm always... Um, I'm always, I'm always fit, so I'm always training, I'm always with Billy. And, um, so just whenever they give me the call, I should be ready, or if I'm not ready, I will be ready. It's safe to say that you could possibly fight once more after. Yeah, I would, I would yeah. Be, so I think we'll get this fight, and the way they were talking as a couple of things on the limelight, but there's a show in December, sometimes, and um, hopefully televised again in Box Nation. Um, so we'll be, we'll be out before the end of the year, and then enjoy Christmas, and then get back to back there in the new year with a bang. Hopefully, champ at the door or something. So, uh, you're not rating the Bella Houston then? What's that? You're not rating the Bella Houston. Uh, I'm no. quite curious to know what, what it's like there now. I don't want to say too much because I might get staffed when I go to the Bella Houston. <laughs> but, nah, it's a good arena, I actually quite enjoy it. It's, um, the atmosphere's good and it's, it's always packed. It's a good place for a boxing, it's always warm, it's roasted. So, who's headlining the show? You or Steven? Steven's headlining. Um, I think he's headlining, I don't know what's happening. But, um, he's headlining and I don't know. See, we don't know where we're fighting yet, but I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. Definitely. But um, just a word on obviously Ricky Burns, he fights the week after. Yeah. Uh, he's managed to challenge a Ricky Handsfire uh, relic. Um, like I said, Ricky Burns has uh, done that accomplishment uh, yeah. a few months ago, uh, becoming Scotland's only ever free yeah. weight world champion. And uh, like I said, it's just. It's great for Ricky Burns, and, and it's great for Scottish boxing as well, David. Yeah, I'm, hap I'm happy for Ricky, as you say. I've trained alongside Ricky for a, for a while, not now, but since he's been at Sims, but there's nobody that trains harder than him, seriously. I mean, the guy's a machine, and it's good for me to learn upon that. I mean, it is at the time, and I was learning that, so I know how it needs to, how, how you need to train for these fights. Um, as I say, it's, it's sometimes it's people can say it's bad luck in boxing and, and stuff like that. It's just, but, um, I'm not, I couldn't be happy for him. He deserves it. So and it's good to get all these shows back in Scotland for, for the upcoming people as well to, to box on these. It also brings, brings a good show to Glasgow and the Hydro. So um, it's good. I couldn't be happy for Ricky to deserve it. A good little fight on that Ricky Burns bill is uh, Charlie, Flynn. Charlie Flynn and uh, Kofi Yates. I've seen it straight Sorry. away. I've seen yeah. it straight away. Um, it will be a good fight. Two fighters. So yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Yeah, I'm sure there'll be plenty of chat in that one because yeah. they can both talk. So uh, <laughs> uh, that'll be quite interesting. But. Um, David, listen, thank you for talking to uh, IFL TV and uh, we'll hopefully catch up with you ahead of uh, your fight on the 1st of October. Yep. Um, he was plugging tickets earlier on Simmons. <laughs> yeah, he was uh, telling me there's 40s, 60s and 100s. He's got. Try and sell some in the train station if you would. You never know. Get Billy Nelson to sell it. Don't know else he sells salt water to pirates. <laughs> see you later, lads, see you later. Um, um, Alright, well, listen. Good to catch up with you, and um, like I said, I'm sure we'll catch up with you ahead of uh, the 1st of October. Good to see you, mate. See you again. No problem. Cool and Cassius, David Brophy, IFL TV. Thank you very much.